Between you and me, Aver. Always thought you'd be a good child. May I see your store? Ah, that one's pretty good. Sad to send this one away, but it would make me proud. Ready for battle. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunner, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dear, said we did carry to Gunnar. Do never am Lucas, what if it's a daughter he to tea and Harriet? And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy of future and heen, and the sword tawaloch in hope, a premonition. And the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur enaid fel de marall, a dyn a strong a buretiki, a gfel as i fiers, bod calon yn hedfan dyr y ti. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let us hedfan efan gilydd, tro bywyd yn beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valcalon, adoration a fee than bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. <laughs> Alvis! I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. What do you think of all this? Little dull in my book. I think it was no one's fault. Oh, where they gave each other swords. I mean that. Volka, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. 
That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to be here. Hope you never see worse in the case of me so that years. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. It's way that they him more stay on where the break you have been among us for quite some time, Redda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Randvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your friendship. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embraced more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. And what about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I want to say, Ranvi, I love you, and I have for some time. I did not pursue it, not wanting to betray my brother's trust, but that does not mean I did not desire it. Does that surprise you? Gods, I worried you saw me as a woman starved for the affection of her husband, that it was loneliness driving me. 
But it was you, Eivor. Only you. Everything you are, everything you will become. Randvi. Without you, I would have lost my way a thousand times. I never told him outright, but I doubt he will be surprised. I think he may have suspected it even, some time ago. If he suspected it, he never said anything. He is more observant than I often give him credit for. I believe he sees us as we are, and as we hope to be. We can wait to tell him. Give it a few days, when the feasting is over and everything is settled. Agreed. I have waited long enough for you, and you for me. What is another few days? The blink of an eye. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that? I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Eivor, I want to thank you on behalf of myself and Bridget. Our wedding was the greatest day of my life. And it could never have gone so well without you. Truly, Gunnar. It was my pleasure. <laughs>